Hello everyone and welcome, this is Revamp Gaming and in today's video I'm just going to be really asking you questions and I'm hoping that you guys will answer down below in the comments section or tweet me on Twitter and my Twitter link and Facebook link will be down in the description so after the video if you want go ahead and check that out and tweet me with an answer to the question, some of the questions that I'm going to be asking you within this video um, about certain topics regarding PS3 games and the PS3 console in general. Now guys, as you can probably tell, my voice is a little bit off again. Uh, I'm sorry about that guys, I'm going to try and let it not get in the way of the video though. Um, because I don't know why my body just hates me at the moment. But guys, let's get straight into the questions. So, I'm not going to start off with the first question actually. I'm going to really tell you a little scenario that I've put myself into. And the scenario is that a couple of days ago I bought a jailbroken PS3, which means I am now able to mod certain games. Um, online and offline and I suppose the first question guys that I'm going to be asking you is do you lot really want to see this on my channel because I know that certain people do like it and I know that certain people don't like it and I used to be really up for modding games online um, but then I started speaking to certain people and I suppose I've learned that it just really ruins the game in general um, but in some ways it can help it, but let's just focus on ruining the game for a minute. And say if, um, say, right, I know there's a lot of modders on Grand Theft Auto V online at the moment for previous gen PS3 and Xbox, because there's not really many on next gen at the moment. And they can go around giving people money, um, blowing up players, taking players' weapons. But then you've also got, like, them good modders, sorry guys, uh, them good modders that are all right that give you money and give you all the weapons and give you cars and give you a higher rank if you're not very good or you've only just started out then people that just want to help the community and i suppose i i don't i don't want to mod gta and i do want to mod gta 5 at the same time i don't think i will do too much modern of it though because it's a great game at the moment but i suppose that if i was i would probably try and be one of them people that would go around helping the community to give money to people and to just have like a fun time with them just mess around with them uh online and all that have a joke with them give them some cash um because the rockstar as they call it uh economy is it's okay it's not the best economy in a game ever because you don't get a, a good payout you get around an average of two to four k per mission apart from the ones like rooftop rumble where you get about 15 to 18 k um but I think that the GTA economy is struggling a little bit. I think they could increase the payouts to a higher. And I don't know, maybe we might see increased payouts with heists. Um, it was rumoured a couple of months back that the highest payout was 200k, which is not a lot. And there's probably going to be a restriction on how many heists you can do over certain days, weeks or months. I don't know. But I suppose that I would just be one of them people that would try and help the community out as much as I could with mods, like have a laugh, give them cash, like I said before. Um, and then like, there's the, the thought of being banned and everything, which I'm not fussed about being banned, I could just make another account and all that, and obviously if I get, con if I get console banned, you can get custom IDs and everything from everywhere, but I suppose that I wouldn't really want to mod the game because it is new, and I do like it, it's still actually quite new, it's only a year and a bit into its, uh, into the game. And I do like the game, and I do just like to go around and play it at the moment. Um, there's other games, guys. Like um, I was looking at, sorry, I was looking at games like Black Ops One, Black Ops Two, Modern Warfare Two and Three. Now I know that Modern Warfare Two, a lot of people probably won't care about. It's probably the most modded game slash Call, uh, Call of Duty game that's ever been modded, and it's great for mods. And I think that Black Ops. Uh, no, sorry, Modern Warfare 3 is closing in on that as well, just a little bit. And how I just want to know how you guys would feel about me doing mods on games like this. Um, especially Grand Theft Auto 5, because I wouldn't want to do mods on it, but if you guys wanted to see that, then I could possibly try my best to do it. Uh, I'm not making any promises, but games like Modern Warfare 2, I am, if you want mods on that and want videos on the mods on that, then I can definitely guarantee that for you guys. Um, Modern Warfare 3... Uh, you can mod it's I, I've been looking at like menus and real-time modding things for it and there are there are some out there and some of them do look hard to uh, get hold of but 
it's possible. Um, I I could probably definitely do Black Ops 1 and 2 as well, guys, because I've been looking at other mod menus for that, and it's obviously it's quite easy to get hold of mod menus. You just get an eboot file, and you install it, and then la -di -da, -di da you play the game. Um, see, I don't know much about I don't know much about how to install mods and how you activate them to on the game, but I do know quite a bit about the jailbreak in general. Um, but I've been looking at some uh, mod menus like Project Blood for Black Ops 2 Zombies and Project Revolution on Black Ops 2 Online, and they look really good. So I'd be if you guys want to see videos on that, then I'd definitely be down for doing some videos on that. Now the other big game that I would be modding if you guys were happy to have videos on my channel about that would be GTA 4 because that is probably a long lost and forgotten game at the moment. I know there are still a quite a couple of thousands of people that play it, uh, sorry hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of people that play it, um, but I just love that game in terms of mods because the things that you can do and spawn in and it's pretty much amazing um, what you can get on there in terms of cars, models, uh, items. You can spawn in giant ramps and uh, oil tanks that you can just drive up and have a great time on at the airport. Because I know the airport within Grand Theft Auto 4 is probably the mostly used and visited place within the game online. Because it's just like, unlike the Grand Theft Auto 5 airport, the, 4, the airport in GTA 4 is smaller and it's more compact as a general meeting place because you're you generally spawn at the airport um, and i know it's a great place to have lots of one-on-one -on -one death matches and things like that but i would really like to mod gta 4 so if you guys really want that then tweet me on twitter and comment down below as well because i'm more likely to check twitter because i'm usually on it but i will be checking the comments down below as well so if you guys want to see that um but guys this video was really more to ask whether you would like the mods like because i could mod quite a couple of games i could mod mw2 mw3 black ops 1 black ops 2 gta 4 gta 5 and possibly advanced warfare but i don't really want to be doing advanced warfare in gta 5 because they are fairly new games and one there is a high risk of getting banned on it and two with the game that's just been released it's pretty i think it's pretty sad just to mod it straight away but it's possible if you guys want it. I'm not totally up for doing it, but I could probably do it on a separate account for PlayStation 3 and upload it to my channel. Um, I know I might get a lot of hate on it, but if it's what my subscribers want, then that's fine, and I can try to deliver that. Um, there might be some problems, and if there would be problems, then obviously I'd release a video saying that there's problems, I can't do it. But if you guys want to do see other games, then that's fine. Also, I can add my subscribers on PlayStation Network. You can come and play with me on these games that I'm going to be modding. Uh, you can come and hang out on GTA 4 and things like that, MW2. You can have some good times with God Mode, uh, Super Jump Lobbies on MW2, things like that. Um, and I just like to have a laugh with people on it. I wouldn't be one of them people that goes around... Um, taking people's money because on gta 5 you do get that option in a mod menu um to take players money you can select a player take everything they have i would not do that because sorry guys i know how hard it was for me to start on gta 5 and i wouldn't want to someone to feel how i did when i got all my weapons and money taken away because i felt pretty much powerless on the game and you've got a, you spent so much time and effort putting into what you got and you just got it taken away from you straight away and i absolutely hated that and i worked so hard to get everything back and now that i have uh, i'm pretty much saying i don't play the game as much because there are still modders on it and i don't want everything taken off me guys um so i suppose if i was to do that which i don't really if i was to mod gt5 which i don't want to but i could if you want it um then, yeah, I wouldn't really be going around taking people's weapons and cash. I'd probably be giving it out and just having a good time with them um, and all that. And pranking people, like walking down the street with no radar on, with the alien skin on and just sit, listening to people's reactions going, Oh my god, there's an alien in the middle of the street. Oh my god. And things like that. And then whip out a gun and just blast them to death. Um, but yeah, guys, it's up to you. If you want to see mods on certain games... Tweet me on Twitter, comment down below with 
what game you want to see modded and if you want to join then comment your PSN down below and I'll try and uh, invite you when I have it. I am getting it tomorrow which is Tuesday the 18th of November. Um, so from then I should be playing sailing. Um, and yeah guys, so if you did like the video please leave a like and also hit that subscribe button. Especially if you are new to my channel it shows all the support and really helps me out at the moment guys. I've hit 51 subscribers, which is halfway towards my 10, uh, 10 sorry, uh, 100 subscriber milestone. Um, so thank you for that, guys. I, I'm really grateful for it. Also, uh, just follow my Facebook and Twitter because that's where all my video links will be posted first. And a lot of activity actually goes on on Twitter. And it's quite funny because uh, I'm actually involved in a lot of discussions and arguments with other YouTubers. And sometimes it's just really funny to watch and read. So guys, thank you for watching. My name is Revamp Gaming. I hope I am better for my next video and my voice isn't as bad. I hope it didn't get in the way of the video too much. But guys, I'm Revamp Gaming and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.